Hey everyone, so I did hear about Hogwarts Legacy is going to be a thing. Possibly this year or maybe next year. So, for the hype of Hogwarts Legacy, yeah, I'm finally going to be putting Harry Potter in my ultimate matchup. Alright, so I'm going to be using feats from the books. The video games and the movies for Harry. His opponent is Sabrina Spellman from, from yeah, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Um, both of them found out they were, well, Sabrina found out she was a witch on her 16th birthday. Harry <clears throat> found out he was a witch on his, I Wait, was he 12 years old when he found out he was a wizard? Um... Shoot, I have not seen the first movie in so long. I know he was... Don't know how old. Ha Hagrid came to his home and said, You're a wizard, Harry. Sabrina's, Sabrina's aunt told her she's a witch when she was, um... Freshman year of high school. Oh, was he, was he 16? Anyway, the show got ran from 1996 to 2003. Then it got a cartoon series where Serena was 12. Then it got a another series when on Netflix where it's supposed to be more tough. Actually, she's more of a witch and it's more like burning witches and stuff like that. But then there was also another Sabrina, which was like a 1970s show, which, yeah, I can't exactly find. <clears throat> okay, let's get this done. Yeah, both Sabrina, this fight, it would be very tricky. Both Sabrina and Harry have spells that can instantly end the fight in 10 seconds flat. Sabrina can turn Harry into a pineapple, an apple, a doll, a dog, literally anything. And Harry probably has spells like to turn her into a teacup or whatever. So both can instantly one-shot each other, pretty much. <clears throat> yeah, this makes this match really tough. Hmm. <clears throat> I've not seen all seven seasons, but I have seen enough to know, like, what Sabrina can do. She can scale to another witch who was able to grab a star with her magic and pull it down to Earth. And then she crushed it and turned into earrings. So, Sabrina should be star level. That puts it above planet level. Harry doesn't get anywhere near planet level. Probably he's... I mean, I'm pretty sure he's stronger than Dumbledore, and Dumbledore's like, well, like, multi-city block level plus. I think Harry should be, like, town, maybe country level with his spells and potions. <coughs> Sabrina clearly is stronger, but again, being stronger really doesn't matter if you, if Harry has a spell that can instantly end the fight. The Avada Kedavra spell is a one, it's a killing curse, which can... One shot, Sabrina, if it hits her. Again, so pretty much how powerful both of them are. Throw that out the window. Because this fight ultimately comes down to who has the better haxes and better spells. I mean, sure, Sabrina's strong, but Harry could f have a way to win. Maybe. Um... Okay, so, if I remember correctly, Harry has to point his wand and say the spell he's going to say to activate the spell. Um, well, um, okay, so he has offensive ones, Expelliarmus and Wigardium Levioso, which is a defensive spell. I mean, protect him from the Dementors. Mm. Sabrina's spell... I mean, in the first episode, she created a blizzard. 
turned her bully into a pineapple. Um, okay, so there is a weakness to Sabrina. She can't exactly use most of her spells. Spells like time travel or... Yeah, time travel and other serious spells. She has to go before the Magic Commission and ask permission. They will decide, can she cast a spell, yes or no? <clears throat> so this does limit Sabrina what she can and cannot do. But I think this pretty much only limits her to, like, freezing time, going back in time. I mean, not really, as, again... She was able to go back in time and talk to people in medieval times. The Magic Commission is a weird commission. But even with those restraints... Um... No, Sabrina's not exactly the brightest, as it took her a while to figure out the family secret. She did meet a bunch of other family members. Some were sheep, others were actual witches, green skin witches. Yeah, the show gets weird. Seven seasons of weirdness. <laughs> um... In the end... Uh, I have to give it to Sabrina. I, yeah, I think Sabrina would win more often than not. I mean, for Sabrina, the cast is well. All she has to do is point her finger and it can happen. Gave her boyfriend, Harvey, a brain freeze. For some reason. It does seem that Sabrina's magic is more on par with reality warping. All she has to do is point her finger. In another episode, while fighting her niece... Denise pretty much turned people she didn't like. Oh, the teacher gave her an F. Turn him into the size of a doll and keep some horses in the dollhouse. Sabrina had to free all those people and... <clears throat> yeah, defeated. Defeated her niece. Oh yeah, she also um, made... <clears throat> yeah, was able to control... Her opponent's body movement as well. So. <clears throat> so her niece. Again, the point. You have the point of finger to cast magic in the Sabrina universe. Sabrina did control her niece to force her finger away from Sabrina and trapped it in a Chinese finger trap. Uh, I think pointing a finger is much faster than Harry pointing a wand and saying the spell. So I think Sabrina could definitely land that one hit first and again instantly end the fight. And then there's a and then there's a problem for super speed. In one episode when she was addicted to pancakes, she was running so fast, faster than she easily ate down all the pancakes in the. In, this, in a school, and she was moving so fast in the cafeteria that the other students didn't even have time to react or even, I don't think they even saw her moving that fast. So, I think that definitely should, she pretty much speed blisses him. <clears throat> also, she does travel between other realms in the show, so I believe her travel speed should be massively faster than light. Yeah, I think that pretty much is the final nail in the coffin. Like I said, this fight is definitely not one-sided. Both have spells that can instantly end the fight. But I think Sabrina has more ways of ending the fight than Harry. And Sabrina's spells are... Sabrina's magic is more akin to reality warping. She can literally turn things into anything, magically think, poof things in the fat air. Um, she can also control the weather, and that was, and she can control the weather, and that was in the first 
episode, season, and later on, she got much more powerful and was able to control her magic later on in the series. I see Harry struggling with this match. <clears throat> but, yeah, I, um, I have to give it to Sabrina. I hope everyone enjoys Hogwarts Legacy whenever it comes out. And, uh, yeah, I also heard that Fantastic Beast 2 got cancelled because they kind of fired Johnny Depp before they talked about... Well, yeah, they should have waited until after the trial to fire Johnny. But if they were going to fire him, but... <clears throat> they should have waited until after the trial. They should have heard both sides and see... <clears throat> yeah. Disney and Warner Brothers kind of messed up with the whole Johnny thing. They immediately took Amber's side and didn't even want to hear what John had to say. And now they look like fools because Johnny's been proven innocent and... Again, they would have to come crawling back to Johnny and beg him to come back to their movies. So as I, so as I heard, Fantastic Beasts 2 is cancelled. Um, the reboot where Harry's Children goes to Hogwarts, I don't know when that will come out. Probably next year. <clears throat> but, yeah. Mm. But, yeah, I'm actually, I mean, not really surprised. Watching a few episodes of Sabrina, seeing her, her kind of magic and seeing what she can do. Yeah, she can pretty much just control Harry. Force his wand to point at himself and blast himself with it, or turn him into a pineapple, an apple, or whatever. Again, I really don't think Harry can handle Sabrina's level of magic, which is pretty much reality warping if you look at it. It would be too much of Harry to handle. Now, originally this was going to be Twilight Sparkle versus Harry Potter, but... I scrap that. And then I thought maybe I could do Heck Twilight Sparkle versus Hermione Granger. I mean, both of them like study magic. Both of them are, I guess, eggheads, as some people would say. Both of them are smart. Both of them. But. Twilight's Universal, while well, Hermione doesn't even get close to planet level. And both of them have spells against the end of fight immediately. <clears throat> and Twilight Speed from 10% has spells increase the speed from 10% speed of light 10% speed of light to 40%. So she pretty much speed of Alyssa's Hermione. And in season 9, we do see Twilight reacting to other magic before as someone tried to blast her magic and she was able to block that with her horn. Well, after glowing the horn and, well, hidden the magic. So, she could just block everything Hermione does and immediately end the fight with one. Yeah. So I scrapped it in my little pony versus um, Harry. To be fair, I think Twilight pretty much solos the entire Harry Potter universe. But yeah, um, anyway, hope everyone has a wonderful summer. Oh, right on by.